Today we're going back to Taco Bell to try out a couple exclusive items. When they heard about this little show, they decided to get together and make sure that I was able to try some up and coming items and being told that's actually not the case. Uh, these are just test market items and app exclusives that will soon be available to everyone and I'm not special at all. Life gets pretty weird sometimes. You don't always want to cook. So sit down in your chair right there and have yourself a look. We're going through the drive through and getting some fast food. Then we'll eat and talk about if it's bad or good. It's eating fast food in the car and talking about it with Andy. Ugh. All right, we're back at Taco Bell, trying out a couple new exclusive things. The first one, as far as I can tell, is something that's being tested in this market to possibly go out on a bigger rollout. That is the Cheesy Enchilada Grilled Cheese Burrito. I think I said that correctly. Which is uh, chicken, rice, three blend cheese, enchilada sauce, crispy red strips with extra cheese grilled to the outside. So I'm excited to give this a shot. Rather hefty. Ooh. Looks pretty good. That extra cheese on the outside. It's decent heft to it. Let's, uh, let's give this a taste. Not bad. That's sour cream in it too. So we've got chicken, rice, three blend cheese, enchilada sauce, red strips, sour cream, extra trees grilled to the outside. Um, it's pretty good. I have to give this another taste. I'm a fan. I feel like the extra cheese grilled to the outside is not really adding anything for me. That's a personal thing. When I worked here, we used to put three blend cheese down on the quesadilla grill and let it melt and let it burn and then we'd flip it and let that melt and burn and we'd have these discs of like melted crisp burned cheese that we would snack on. That was really good. Um, this, honestly, I couldn't even tell you if it was there or not. So, I'm not mad at it. I'm not saying it shouldn't be there, but it's not a make or break deal for me. Um, everything else here, pretty good. It's got good flavor. Tastes like an enchilada. I'm, uh... What about these crispy red strips? Because they're not crispy red strips. I mean, once you once you put them in a burrito, sauce, sour cream, all this liquid, and let them sit, I think they just turn into red strips at that point. I appreciate trying to add the crunch. I don't know. Also, what are they exactly? Red strips. I don't. I don't know. That's frightening to me. I'm sure they're just red tortillas, but it adds nothing. But much like the cheese on the outside, it adds nothing. I'm not angry that it's there. I think overall, that's pretty good. Um, if you get the chance to try it, I would, especially if this does not get rolled out on a, on a wide scale. I think it's worth trying while you can. Um, that's not bad. That's not bad. For the second item, I have a po spicy potato burrito, I think it was called. Last week we tried the potato taco, which was a buck. And I, if I recall correctly, I liked it. Said it's a good addition to the meal. This week, also for a dollar, is the spicy potato burrito. So this is a burrito with uh, let's see, ground beef, sauce, uh, I think it was jalapeno sauce, which I assume is the same thing in the quesadillas, uh, and potatoes. So right off the bat, this looks, at least tortilla-wise, you're getting a lot more than the potato taco. It's got a good flavor. 
I like that. I like that. The uh, the potatoes are a little soggy from sitting in there, much like the red strips. Again, not mad at it. I think it's just a, a feature of what happens. But as far as the flavor goes, it's really good. That jalapeno sauce is, is building. Um, I appreciate the addition of the ground beef. Beef and potato burrito for a buck is pretty good. That's, I think that's what I like most about it, is the, the $1 price point, decent size. I'm a fan, I like this, I would get that again. Is it better than the soft taco? Hard to say. Soft taco was uh, potatoes, I think the jalapeno sauce, uh, lettuce and cheese. This has no like fresh vegetable aspect to it. Um, bigger. I think the correct answer here is you buy both. They're a buck a piece. You get, I've said before, I like to buy a bunch of different stuff from Taco Bell. I don't really usually go in for the boxes and the meals because I like to get a bunch of different stuff. So what you do, you get the enchilada burrito, you get the spicy potato burrito, you get your potato soft taco, you got a good day. That's that's my recommendation. You get all three of those, it'd be six bucks, you have a nice meal. That's that's the eating fast food in the car and talking about it with Andy. Stamp of approval, make your own $6 taco meal. It's a new thing. I brought it in right now, and we're never going to mention it again. Boom. Got it. All right, that does it for today. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week. Hopefully, I'll be somewhere different than Taco Bell, but that still remains to be seen.